Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Friday, October 25th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time from Poaki or Poake, New Mexico, north of Santa Fe, near the Puye Cliffs. Take a look at Texas. That is a bullseye on the nexus of the Schmexus. Look at that. It looks like a, a greenish purple egg. Now, these models are days out. This is November 7th, uh, which is 12 days out. So, But anything is possible when you see that on the map. Incredible snowy sunrise after Colorado foothills were hammered last night by intense upslope hashtag slow snow, including some thunder snow on I-70 which was closed most of the night west of Denver. And I did not download that video. And even if I had, it wouldn't play. <laughs> Denver weather, biggest October snowstorm in years, likely this weekend. And he's snowboarding in front of the Capitol. Matt Camp Ignoli rides Burton Powder Surfer in front of Colorado State Capitol Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. It can happen again, especially if you're dreaming of a white Halloween. The National Weather Service in Boulder is forecasting eight inches of snow to fall in the Denver area on Sunday into early Monday. A number that would potentially represent the biggest October snowfall in a decade. <laughs> That's not really that impressive, actually. 70 and sunny Saturday before snow and cold return Sunday to Denver. Look at this forecast meridional flow it is summer on saturday you're fluxed on sunday and tuesday oh that's your lose day 26 for the high metro denver will wake up to light snow on sunday along with much colder temperatures in the 20s it will snow through the day with varying intensity the roads will be sick and slick Al Gore's a prick. Vail Pass, Colorado, Monday, October 21st, 2019. Check out the powder. Let's get after it. Areas in British Columbia and Alberta, Canada to Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado have seen significant snow in October, and it's not over. We have over five days left. And take a look at Tuckerman's Ravine. 13 inches pre predicted over the next five days. 19 at Snowy Range, wherever that is. Here's your forecast, Northern Rockies, to get hit the hardest, the 25th through the 27th. That's this weekend. There's that little Texas blip we had earlier. And the extended forecast, Monday, October 28th through Friday, November 1st, upper Midwest is going to be 10 to 15 degrees below normal. Hello. That's chilly. And the Northeast gets it. The first week of November. Could be a November to remember. Look at the snow totals. Here's that historic snow dump, which is going to cover all of Colorado Monday, starting Sunday through Monday and into Tuesday, which is the lose day. Look at Texas. I'm going to get another little dump. And if these models come true, whoa, that's showing 16 inches hitting North Central Texas sometime on November 9th and 10th. Good times. Estimated planetary K index. We went as high as KP6 in the last 18 hours. And we're back down to geomagnetic, geomagnetic stability at KP3. Seems like this event might be over. What is not over? Don't get your panties in a bunch. M2.6. 10 kilometers south of New Madrid, Missouri. Are you New Madriding me? Earth's rocks can absorb a shocking amount of carbon. Well, where do you think diamonds come from? Yes, it's true. The mantle material is filled with carbon. And if you want to sequester carbon, you just put it at a mid-ocean ridge and let the ocean plate suck it down into the center of the earth, I guess. I guess. I didn't even read the article. I'm on vacation, for Christ's sake. Edward Snowden searched the CIA's networks for proof that aliens exist. 
he didn't find any. People are pissed. <laughs> Bam! Scientists watched distant exoplanets collide. No, they didn't. Anyway. Unprecedented fossils discovered near Colorado Springs dating back to 66 million years. Now, these are unprecedented because just prior to these fossils was a mass extinction, eliminating all dinosaurs from the fossil record. Well, not from the fossil record, from the living record on Earth. And these are the first mammals to emerge after that event. So, a little bit of evolution occurring. And if you want to try to pronounce Lox Loxolufus, yep, that's what it says, Loxolufus. I can't even make that up. I can't even highlight it either. Loxolufus, Carcidopticus, Tinylolabus, and Eoconodon. Yes, those are the mammals. For the paleontologist at the Museum of Nature and Science, the day started glum. He was Ian Miller, the museum's expert on prehistoric vegetation. Well, this sounds boring, as, but the, the fossils, they are unprecedented. Now, check out some more unprecedented footage from earlier today. We're at Echo Amphitheater. Take a look at this geology. Can I get the drone out? Yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe the government will land it. You want to see the rest of that fantastic footage? Go watch it. Tomorrow we're going to be at Alcove House in Bandalier. Take a look at this. That is just amazing. 140 feet off of Frijoles Canyon floor. Multiple ladders to get up there. I can't wait. Hope you got something out of the video. I'm about to layer together all of the footage from today at Sankawi. Stay tuned and be safe.